Hello. I pray that you are well today. Jesus said, Jesus said, come to me. I read to you from Matthew chapter 11. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus invites you today. Come to me. Are you weary and burdened? Are you tired? Are you exhausted of being exhausted? Are you burdened? Are you carrying heavy things? Are you carrying new things? Are you carrying not just your own things, but other people's things? Are you carrying? What are you carrying? God says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I will give you rest. God wants to give you rest. It doesn't mean the absence of activity or the absence of, of expending of energy, but it does mean that in the midst of expending of energy, you know you're not alone, and I know I'm not alone, and that, God, we can rest in him even though we don't necessarily see the outcome of whatever we are experiencing right now. Come to me. Jesus says, come to me today, right now. Come to me. Say, God, I give this to you again. I give this day to you again. I never expected this day to go this way. I have too many things on my mind. I have too many people on my mind. I have too many circumstances. I'm, I'm coming and going. I cannot keep up with it all. I'm just weary. Jesus says, come to me. I'm just burdened. It's too heavy. It's too complicated. It's too sad. It's too difficult. Jesus says, come to me. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. You can rest in him. You can believe and trust that you're not by yourself. And he goes on to say this, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you'll find rest for your souls. It isn't just God gives us, we pray for deliverance. God, get me out of this, get me out of this, get me out of this. But God says, I'm going to give you strength to live in it. I'm going to give you strength to stand up under it. I'm going to give you what you need. That's what it means when it says, take my yoke, take my, take my burden, my the thing around my neck, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I'm gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. You'll find rest for your souls. It's kind of interesting because... You know that whole thing of a yoke? You know, this is a this shirt that I have on right now. This is a pastor shirt. And this is a, a collar. And you know where they said this came from? This is the idea of a yoke. A yoke. A yoke for me is the responsibilities of caring for souls, of teaching and caring for souls. What is the yoke for you? What is it that you put on yourself? For I am gentle and humble in heart and you'll find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is not, God, these bad things are happening in my life. Take everything away that's hard and that's just it. That isn't how it works. God gives us strength to stand up under it, to do the things that God has asked us to do. But I wanna to say to you directly, Jesus says to you right now, come to me. Go to God and give him everything you're carrying and everything you're burdened with and, and all your exhaustion and all of your weakness and all of your lack, all of your scarcity and rest in his abundance. Jesus said, come. Jesus invites. Jesus always invites. Please pray with me. Dear God, we pray and give you thanks that Jesus says, come to me, and we are weary and we are burdened. Give us your rest, but give us your learning, for your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Show us what you want from us. Allow us to live in that. May we know that you are present always. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus always is saying to you, come. You will not wear him out. You will not. Because 
He wants to give you rest. God bless you today.